So your loyalty program has to be ubiquitous. And so, you know, in, in Australia, what we've seen is a proliferation of these, um, I call them mass gifting programs, you know, where if you're a, um, you know, you're a telco customer or you're a banking customer, they have these um, gifting programs where you can go in and get, you know, free movie tickets or, you know, or things like that. If you look through the, if you look through the data, right, and we've done, we have a number of clients who have these programs, a very small proportion of customers actually use them, and in some cases, less than 10%. So if you've got a program where less than 10% of your customers are using it, there's no way that you can use that program to drive the three things that I talked about, because you're only ever talking to 10% of your customers. Right. So, so it needs to be ubiquitous. It has to be relevant to, to every customer that you have. Let me give you a hint. There is one thing that is relevant to every customer that you have. Any guesses what it is? Your products. It has, you know, it, what's relevant to your customers is your products. That's why frequent flyer programs are so successful to airplanes and no, uh, to, to airlines and nobody else because it's relevant to their product. Right. Secondly, it needs to be able to reinforce a behaviour. So I need to be able to use the program to reinforce behaviours that create or protect value to me. So if I can't, you know, if I've got a program where people can go in and sign up and they can get a benefit whenever they like without actually doing something or without exhibiting a value-adding behaviour, then that's of no value either. All I'm doing is I'm just giving stuff away. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm giving stuff away indiscriminately. So I have to be able to use the program to reinforce the behaviours. We'll talk about what those behaviours are in a minute. And the last thing around instant gratification is it has to be contextual. So I have to be able to deliver the benefit of my program to a customer when it's relevant to them. It, that might be at point of purchase, it might be a point of incident, right? But there needs to be a, a, a piece of value that is attached to something in the context that I need it. So there's no point sending me, you know, a redemption voucher when I don't need it. Send it to me when I do need it, right? So, you know, I, I, let, let me give you an example of how this sort of thing really works. It's a slightly offbeat example, but, you know, in, um, uh, several years ago, I was, in, um, I was in the Czech Republic, and I lost my wallet. Actually, I got robbed. Um, and I went to the police station, and then I went to American Express. I went to American Express, and I said, I've lost my American Express card. And they said, can you wait an hour? And I said, why? They said, if you wait an hour, I'll give you a new one. So, in the context of me losing my, my credit card, having no money, um, American Express replaced my Amex card within an hour. Nobody else can do that. Right? And I have carried an American Express card for 25 years ever since, and I will never go anywhere without an American Express card. So if a vendor doesn't have American Express, I just don't go there. Right? So, so that's what, that's what loyalty in, the, in, in a contextual environment means. If you can deliver a benefit to somebody in, in, a, in the right context, that's where you'll create loyalty. And you can use your program to create these contextual um, events.